Oh, well, gosh. <laughs> well, we thought it was time we put you back together again. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. Brian Hogan. Oh, I've wanted to do this for so long. We kept missing each other. We've never seen each other. Oh. Is it good? <laughs> Mr. Hogan, what were some of the many qualities, I suppose, in Olivia that, that stood out for you? Olivia was multi talented and very academic. Olivia could have done anything and has done everything. Um, but Except she was. Math. Yes. <laughs> Her family was an academic family, it was an academic school, and in those days, Probably the advice you'd give would be, well, look, get a career behind you before you do mm. showbiz. Mm. But also, I think Olivia's nature is one where it could have been fragile in the performance business. And she's kept the fragility, but the strength as well. And I have to say to you now and say publicly, Olivia, you are a wonderful role model to us all, but especially, I think, to young girls, young women, even now, who still think you're wonderful. Oh, and you thank are. You. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for your time. And after the break, one more final surprise for Olivia Newton-John. Hi, Livy. It's Kylie. I'm sorry I can't be with you and all of your friends tonight. As with everyone else, I think you're absolutely wonderful and you've been an inspiration to me since I was, well, just a bit shorter than I am now. So have a wonderful night, lap it up, and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Hi, Livy. Hi, everyone. I'm sorry I can't be there tonight to celebrate this with you, but uh, I do wish you a fantastic night and I wish I was there to hear all these stories about you. I've heard a couple, but I don't believe anything. <laughs> Honest. celebrate the life of Australia's favourite daughter, Olivia Newton-John. Olivia, just last year you were again struck with tragedy when your mum passes away and after a long and painful illness. And you always had an enormous admiration for her. I mean, just as you've been a role model for so many, she was your role model? Absolutely. My mum um, was the one that taught me about the trees and caring about the planet and seeing the beauty in everything and not wasting things and being kind and she was a very intelligent and interesting and funny person and uh, miss her a lot. You're now involved with Austin Health yes. here in Victoria in a, in a bid to create a wellness centre for cancer patients. It's a centre that not only just treats cancer, ladies and gentlemen, but one that offers meditation, yoga and counselling for the mind and the spirit, which was something very important to you during your battle with cancer. Problem is you need $50 million and a lot of support. Just like the support that you are at the present giving a dear friend whose daughter is suffering from throat cancer. And there was no way she was going to miss tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from London, Katrina <gasps> Lorden. Good. 
Trent, can we just start with asking, how is Erin, your daughter? Yeah, she's um, getting on really well. She's in, um, just going to have her last chemo next week, so it's the only time I could have come tonight. And that's Erin. There she is. There she is. And, um, she's beautiful. And, and just she sends how much... all her love as well. I'm sorry, just how much has Olivia done for you and Erin? Oh, she's done so much, I can't begin to say it. But um, she's helped us both emotionally and financially. And without her, we couldn't have... If we couldn't have done so well. Um, she's been a fantastic inspiration with her own battle. And you've, um, you've given us the strength to find, fight this hardest battle of our lives. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We love you. Yeah. I've known her for such a long time, and I've known Erin since she was a baby. Yeah. And I can't, I can't imagine what it, what it must be like for you, because I've seen my own. <laughs> uh, it's a terrible thing to watch your child go through something like this. Yeah. Yeah. You're lucky to be. She's going to be okay. Yes, thank you. Each other. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Katrina, thanks for flying out from London. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Olivia, as a pop princess and Hollywood bombshell, you became a wonderful role model for young women around the world. And then as an environmental campaigner and someone who works so hard for cancer research, you not only proved what a beautiful person inside you are, but what a magnificent ambassador you have always been for all Australians. We would be privileged and very grateful if you would end tonight's show with, with a song. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, if, again, if we applaud loudly, <laughs> Olivia may perform Let Me Be There. Let me.
Olivia's overseas and interstate guests choose to fly Qantas, the spirit of Australia. Our guests choose to stay at the Shangri-La Hotel Sydney.